to make person laugh. Do you know what the energy it takes? Which one of our advice do you have for whiskey? You go for tonight. Ah! Mind the business that pays you. Everybody they hustle now. Oh, no, no. You. You, you must have a problem. Yeah, Why? Because I know they, I know they give you what you want here. Yeah, yeah. You, uh, uh, no well, you must have problem with me. For don't they do this the way they do this. Very dark man they do. I mean, get people they support them. You can be a second choice for love. For a very dark man to come out on social media, uh, Instagram. To Instagram to tell the girl not to marry that and that. That's a stupid talk. What are your input in the current rate of celebrity deaths? What do you think is a major cause? Do you think it's a natural cause or basically it's spirituality? She left him because of because of Lamba. He's obviously Lamba is more influential than her ex, which is the guy. Hi guys, it's a favorite Rebecca Banana in the building and you're welcome to your official TMI news. Guess what guys? We are here today exclusively. I have these very spectacular personalities with me. I'm talking about one of the only MC Marco Polo alongside Call Me China in the building. It's a pleasure, it's a pleasure to have you, sir. Thank you very much. Thanks for having us. It's a pleasure to Thank you for having me. Yeah. Okay, so let's go to the business of the day. Who is our uh, MC Marco Polo, basically? Okay. Well, um, Marco Polo is a very simple personality. I am just a guy that loves to be happy, share my happiness, Try as much as possible to see how um, life, my life, can be of effect to other people. You understand? So, um, I wouldn't say a comedian. I'm everything. I'm a human being who likes to give out my own share of happiness to other people. You understand? So, I make people laugh anywhere that people need to be happy. I'm always there. You know, I like to be happy myself and all of that whole thing. So yeah, Marco Polo is a comedian, a content creator, a viper, an MC. You know, I'm just all around everything, an all-round entertainer. Oh, 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 okay. Call me China. Who is Call Me China? Okay, Call Me China is, a, is really a brand. Okay. You know? So I've been a comedian right from secondary school. Okay. So uh, I just stopped in a while to just get some things fixed. Because I travel, I've not been around for a okay. while, so I travel, I just get back now, so I just think I should maybe establish myself, okay. make it a big brand, go into the industry. Full force or full time? Full force. Okay. <laughs> like the biggest force. All right. Like I'm coming. Okay. And I'm making it happen. Okay, happy. we're looking forward With to With my that. guy, Marco Polo. All the way. Yeah. <laughs> right behind me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay, that's 100. Okay, so tell us more about the brand behind MC Marco Polo. Well, um, the Marco Polo brand is it's all encompassing, you know. Um, it's basically life itself, you understand, when it comes to what I do. Because like I said earlier on, um, I started with the whole prank thing in Nigeria, you understand? You know? Oh, for real? Yeah. Oh, wow! You're, you're not really, you're not really. Wow. Making your uh, no, no, it's basically, it's, it's basically <laughs> no. stand-up comedy. Yeah. Oh, that's what you saw. Yeah, because I know, and uh, this guy, uh, untouchable now, is kind of championing the whole thing, and uh, the nigga is making it. Well, now. well, uh, yeah. Someone had what, to what actually left it for them. No, there was nothing like left. Okay. okay. So the thing is, you do something, it's good. Other people copy. Co not copy. It's all free for all okay but you see let me tell you something if you do something that is good but don't you think that that, that there's basically this thing we call copyright infringement infringement more or less Come on, prank is a direction okay pranks is a direction and the main thing is before nigerians started doing prank other people were doing it yeah, yeah, yeah. are you getting the point i'm making in fact we had the likes of charlie boy uh, in the early days that started doing pranks oh. mtv based sugar yeah, yeah. You understand that we're doing celebrity based plan. And when I saw all of that thing and I had the opportunity to do something in Nigeria, I started the street pranking. You understand? And I did it so well, so good, wow. that other people saw it and I inspired them to good. want to do it. Because and prank is, is like a, yes, another industry. It's, it's an industry on that we, we started from the, crass, um, from the uh, scratch, yeah. sorry. You understand? So, 
for the fact that other people are doing it, for me right now, it's just like a father that is seeing other people grow. And I'm happy yeah. wow. Wow. that the things that we started without other people's support yeah. is now something that is gaining support. You understand? It's yeah. something to be proud of. In wow. fact, we should be clapping for these things. You understand? Wow. People should be celebrating it. It's something. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So can they tell the brand behind Call Me China? Uh, I'll actually say the brand behind Call Me China. Yeah. And, uh, I'm ready to bring in like some love to the fans. Okay. Give them what they want. Make them happy. Okay. And actually, uh, uh, at the same time, make money. Okay. From it. Okay, yeah. but you know, first of all, passion comes before yeah, actually, payment. Yeah, actually, passion comes before payment. That's what I want to do. Okay, yeah. so so if I ask you to crack a joke for us right now, you would right do that. Right now. Okay, like, okay. Can you make make me laugh? Huh? Make me laugh. Try to make you laugh. Okay. Crack joke now. Make I make you laugh? Uh, you go fuck me tonight. Ah! <laughs> yeah, yeah. Why you fuck my brisky, man? Go fuck yourself. <laughs> okay. Okay, 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 yeah. That's actually a crazy joke. Very stupid joke. <laughs> okay. I did, actually. Yeah, you got me there. You got me there. That's kind of spontaneous thing. I was in fit time, I swear. You got me, you got me. Okay, so as a content creator, mention two favorite content creators of yours and two worst content creators of yours. Basically, the two that you like and the two worst or least favorite. Well, um, if you if you know me, okay, me, you know that I'm someone that I've dialed into so many things when it comes to content. And when, when you asked about the brand, I mentioned pranks. Pranks yeah. wasn't the only thing that I started. And that's why I was trying to tell you something. I started from pranks to the room service to the life in three, um, um, 60 seconds directions, you know, that was me diving to different directions of comedy because I'm a very passionate person and in my in my growth process, you know, I've worked with a lot, most of the big names that you see now, I, I worked with them when they were just, you know, you know what I'm trying yeah, yeah, to say. So, I'm this person that is very passionate about what I do. I love everybody. I do stuff with everybody, you understand? So I'm not that guy that will tell you, oh, I have this favorite and all of those whole things, you understand? Content is appealing to me or to you. Yeah. There's somebody that you watch and you're like, mm, I don't really feel this guy, you understand? And there's another person is feeling that guy. I don't know if you get the point I'm making. So I wouldn't say I have this, oh, favorite and all of those things. I just think that everybody's trying on their own because it's a very difficult mar market. So everybody is trying on their own to get what, what they need. So like basically, can we work with names? I, I don't actually have a name to give Why? you. Why? Because everybody did yeah, try, man. Big name on your own. Marco yes. Polo is a name. No, nah, Marco Polo is a name now. Okay. You understand? Oh, okay. And okay. me Mention, now, maybe Marco Polo okay. now, they tell you, say... favorite content creator. I don't even get favorite. Ah. I try to tell you. You understand? Everybody did try. Yeah. Bro, this shit's yeah. hard. <laughs> you just okay. say it's easy to... Stand for front of camera, go there, shout, say, do this one, do this one. To make person laugh. Do you know what the energy it takes? And yet you don't have favorite. That's what I'm saying. And you don't have the least favorite. But I, see, I appreciate everybody. You understand? Because it's an effort. For the fact that you need to come out and do something, come on. You need that tap on the back, you understand? Okay, so call me China. Can we basically know your two favorite young girls? Because I have... Okay, okay, no worries. <laughs> okay, okay, your second word. Yeah? Your second word. I think my second word is uh, Cortis, the Cortis. Cortis, yeah. Which one? Yeah, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I think I don't like it. Okay, I like your sincerity anyway. I like the fact that you are very sincere. That's dope. Okay, let's go to our next question. If you are given the opportunity to change the Nigerian comedy industry, what are the three major things? 
three major things concept okay narration and content okay like can you put more light on okay that? yeah so when i say the concept you understand you said something about oh copyright infringement yeah. and all of that whole thing you understand i think the concept of nigerian comedy is being given that whole light into you can just do anything you like it's not well defined you understand there's yeah. no definition that's where yeah, the concept yeah. comes, you understand? Yeah, yeah. Then the narration is how people go about it, you understand? And I think there should be a level of decorum, you understand? So personally, if I'm given an opportunity to change, I think that's one thing I can do. Then again, the content, you understand? Personally, I feel people just, you know, dive into comedy without paying attention to what comedy should be all about, you understand? So. People just want to be, and you see, it's the mentality of Nigerians. I no good blame people because you know why? Every typical Nigerian wants to be where it's happening. If today then come out us in an arm robbery, now be the thing with the with the cell, everybody go one go turn arm robber. You understand? You go see where parents they buy gun for their children, may they go. You understand? It's a mentality. You understand? So, at the end of the day, the contents of what we actually put out and all of that whole thing is something that I feel in my own way I can change. Okay. Yeah. okay, that varies. Okay, um, call me China. If they are giving you basically that you know, three opportunities to change the company industry, what are the three specific things you want to change? I don't really have three. Uh, I would say mostly the content. The content, yeah. Uh, I think Nigeria should maybe do something that don't do copyright, like don't copy the whites. I think we should be doing more better. Like, I want the whites. More. Yeah, I had to copy. Yeah, so I don't like when you copy. Um, when you see somebody doing something, you try to do the same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think you have to do yours. Do mm -hmm. Bring out what you have. Don't go and copy. At least you are back now. Yeah, of course I'm back now. So visualize it. And I'm going to do something different. Okay. Yeah, really yeah. Bring in a new world in the industry. Okay. Come with fire. Yeah, yeah. One fight. Okay, okay. We are looking forward to that. <laughs> okay. What are your inputs in the current range of celebrity deaths in Nigeria? What do you think is a major cause? Do you think it's a natural cause or basically it's spirituality? Well, people die every day. Uh, and celebrities are people. Yeah, they are humans human. too. You understand? Um, I feel the reason why we are hearing so much about celebrity deaths this time is because of the level of our involvement with social media and the activities, you understand? But again, life is spiritual. Life is a very spiritual place. You see, I feel there's this more moderation that needs to come in into people trying to make money by all means, you understand? It's another thing, you understand? And what I'm trying to say here is this. There's a spiritual lining to every single thing that we do. And to everything that we do, there are consequences, you understand? So for me, I feel people will die. People will die. And it's something that will continue to happen. But the rates at which it is going right now you understand i wouldn't want to say oh maybe the people have that have died uh maybe have done something wrong or stuff you understand no but then i feel this moderation into the pursuit of life you understand is something that we all need to consider in terms of uh who we are what we are and what we carry you understand sometimes our life choices would have to define certain things that will happen to us you understand so man Life is fucking spiritual. Please, please, okay. Call me China. What are your input basically to commemorate of celebrity death in Nigeria? What do you think is the cause? I think some die natural death. Um, I think so. some are natural, but some are not. Uh, because I think I have my friend, one of my close friends, was a good, like, good sponsor in the Hollywood industry. So he told me a lot of things about kind of envy, they kind of fight in the movie industry. So now, I think some are natural, but some are spiritual deaths. So, so you feel some, some, some deaths, natural? Um, some are natural, really natural. Yeah, yeah, some are not. Yeah, yeah, some are really spiritual. But 
I think there is a lot of envy, like who is going to be the number one, who is going to be there, like. Okay, so it's, so you like see if, if it might have be like a sent someone like hating on somebody. Yeah, like, yeah, someone hating on somebody. It's not like the uh, movie industry. You know, is actually different from natural music industry. Yeah, different. Yeah. Like, they're two different industries. Yeah, 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 it's two different industries. But I think for Nollywood, uh, this person have to come like they believe. This person have to come down before I can mm, okay, go up. So okay. that, they have that mentality. Yeah, they have that mentality. So that's why they're not fighting. You know? Okay. okay. The I, like, I world, like your sincerity. Yeah, yeah. The outside world to be hard for them to see what really yeah, going on. Yeah, because things are moving yeah. for everybody. It's only the ones inside who actually you know what's going really going on. So I think the movie industry should be really they should love their sets. Yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. <clears throat> As a responsible citizen of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, oh. which one of advice do you have for Bob Brinsky and Mary Dan Blackman? Mind the business that pays you. Everybody they hustle now, my nigga. Everybody they hustle. Yeah. So that if, means any, any, if, anything where they pay, you have to your head inside, whether it's good or bad. My nigga, it's choices. See, one thing I always tell people, right? Good or bad is a perception. What is good to you is bad to somebody else. What is bad to somebody else is good to you. At the end of the day, right or wrong is still a perception. Because at the end of the day, we all are governing. See, you get a place where we say, they'll tell you, say, if you take something, they'll know we'll call you thief. You get another place where you go, go take that thing, they'll we'll call you thief. Why? I'm, I'm, eh, no, I no. Have a problem with you. You, you must have a problem. Yeah, Why? Because I know they, I know they give you what you want here. Eh, you, are, eh, you, know, well, you must have problem with me. MC, what have, have, have it. You have for Bob Risky. Mind the business that pay you. Don't they hear me for the mic? <laughs> if Nanyash, they pay you. Do. If you hear me. Okay. What? If, what, what, if what, not talk. <laughs> what advice do you have for very dark black man? My nigga. He, what you, you are talking, Abi? Is he paying you? Okay. Because, bro, tomorrow, you see this postcard that you're doing now. There are certain things that you say that you will go viral. My brother, you will buy 10 more mics so that your voice go loud. Well, well. Is he paying you? Yes. Because that's what life is all about. Let me make great person. Hear oh, me? Okay, okay. As a role model. As a role model, yes. Okay. Yeah. If you know you have these younger ones, you know, a yes. particular brand, mm -hmm. a particular mm -hmm. character, mm -hmm. a personality. Mm -hmm. Would you advise your own kids? Yeah. Or, or, or let's say group now of you kids just that made you just made a very kids, valid sense now. Group of kids that yeah. you love that will cherish. Yes. Would you advise them to follow such a path? No, here yeah, I will not advise anybody to follow. Listen, you asked me a specific to question. Follow no, hear me. You asked me. You say what is my take on? The role of Bob Risky and uh, Vori Dagman. Okay, my word of advice. Nah, the advice then say, mind the business that pays you. But now, this question that you asked me now, what is my advice to young people is also to mind something that actually would favor them in life. Hear me? What I like, what I dislike is me, my personal choice, right? I, can, I can't impose it on someone else because the truth is, regardless of whatever thing I say, people will still do what they need to do. Are you getting it? I'm being factual with you. Maybe maybe because you, you just want make I talk within day your mind. You understand? You know they listen to me. No, but, yeah, no, but hear me, hear me. You, you get what I they try to tell you. Yeah, you get what I they try to tell you. You understand? People are still going to be people. Definitely. If you... When we, were, when we were growing up, you get some deeper life families. Maybe say they will tell you say their children they watch TV. They will switch up the TV. But eventually, those children, when we can't go to school, now them worse pass even those ones where they go to sleep for outside. Are you getting the point I'm making? So yes, I'm a role model. If I have kids, I'll tell them, I'll advise them to the best way that I feel. Because it gets some things with me, I know they do. I know be the very dark man, I know be Bob Risky. My life is different. What I do, what I stand for is different. But then, if the society, because Bob Risky don't do this the way they do things. Very dark man, they don't. I get people where they support her. If at the end of the day, you feel that that is what pays you, and the society is supporting you, do what feels for you. But my own kids, I'll tell my kids, say, CEO, CRCP, CRCP, this is the best part to life. Eventually, no matter what I say to my kids, they will get to a point in their life 
where they will have to make choices, bro. People, oh, see, every human being is a limited, or let me put it this way, every human being is a renewable energy. No matter what you think you are giving to somebody, eventually they will make decisions for themselves. That's why even your best friend can turn out to be your worst enemy. Bro. Oh, more they real now. China, my man. Yeah. And I really your man. Now. In the, no, in the no, give you In the give you you want. Where <laughs> She's a second choice, man. She left him because of because of Lamba. It's obviously Lamba is more influential than her ex, which is the guy. She left the guy. I think she she she, she was with the guy before you, BBN. You guys should not judge because you don't actually know. Based on what, what I know, based on what I based on what I know. Marriage, okay, but you, you you can be second choice. Um, yeah, yeah, as second choice. Uh, children of God. Let's so, go back to the conversation. So, uh-huh. so for very dark man. Yeah. So back to what I was saying. Yeah. The guy is an adult, the guy has parents, and the guy uh, uh, already know like what really happened between the girl and the kid guy. He still went ahead. So, he still went ahead. So yeah. for a very dark man to come out on social media, uh, especially even Instagram, mm. to come to Instagram to mm. tell the girl not to marry that guy, that's a stupid talk. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, Call me China yes, and I'll do this. So. I'll give you content. <laughs> <laughs> so for the guy to come out yeah. uh, on Instagram to say it on Instagram worldwide, yeah. uh, the girl should not marry that. That is stupid talk. Uh, of course, 
Yeah, you don't have to say that. Somebody else should say that. Our parents should say that. Okay, and it's not him that yeah. is outside that. The guy's parents so or the guy should say that, not you. Very dark yeah. man. I got, I got so, your point. So he, very dark man, he speaks a lot of facts. And sometimes okay. he talks a lot of bullshit. bullshit as well. Well. So, so for Bobby In- Risky, I'm not an anti gay. So I'm not an anti gay. So for me, I will never be a gay. But you are okay with the LGBT. Oh, no, 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 no. I will not, I will not be a program, no. Oh, you know they run the world, right? You know that. I think, yeah, I think they do even the movie industry and all that. Uh, no, Hollywood. Is that why you say for you to crack a joke for me, I have to kick your balls so off? So that's all, because I know you're going to call it your waist line. MC, welcome back Please, from that short break. commercial break. MC Marco Polo. Yes, sir. On a on a scale of one to ten, can you rate the current Tinubu's administration? Man, it's bad. It's really, really bad. Okay. So, um, right now, I think I'm going to rate it for this very moment, yeah. right? I think I'm going to rate it a four, actually. Four. Wow. Yeah. Um, but do I think there's a space for growth? Yes. But for this very moment, bro, have you gone to the market? It's crazy, man. Man, I don't, I, I don't think Nigeria has ever gotten to this rate of inflation ever in the history of Nigeria. In fact, the last time... We got to this point was I think during Buari, the first regime, not this last one, yeah. like Buari's first regime. That was, I mean, that they they had to like. Um, that is seventies. Yeah, I'm about talking about military. this the military regime. Okay. You understand? Yeah. That was the last time that Babangida had to like overthrow him. You understand? Okay. Yeah. That was the last time that Nigerians got to this point of, you know, you see people crumbling for food, man, every single thing. Listen, every single thing. Pack of water, pack of water that people used to buy for like maybe a thousand, um, two hundred, and all of that whole thing. You know, I was surprised the other day I went to the market and I wanted to buy packs of water because normally I buy in bags, you understand? So I wanted to buy, and the girl was telling me that one pack of water was going for three thousand something. This is something that used to go for like a one, um, a one thousand, two. one, a thousand two hundred, yeah. thousand three hundred. You understand what I'm trying to say? So it's not even just that, bro. Pepe in the market. You understand? So I'm, I'm not just talking about myself. I'm talking about the common man. How people they really take survive for this economy is just another thing. But do I think there are certain um, policies that these guys are putting in place? Yes, I think it work. But I think. We have not actually gotten to that practical point of the policies actually coming to play. We, we, we hope it actually gets to the board. Right now, I'm giving it a four. A four, okay. Yeah. Okay, if we're actually now, Buhari or Tinubu? Buhari failed, right? Okay. They say who they run and who don't run mm. are two different things. Okay. Who don't run, don't run and run. Mm. We see where you stop. Yeah. He gave one proverb where Ibo people, they talk, they say, Agba Choso, Agba Mai. Now, when you run, finish, they go know how far how they far go. You and that's why I said, when I was rating, I said, there's still room for growth. You understand? Tunubu is just barely a year. This is April. It's barely a year. Yeah. So, if in a year we've gotten to this, you know, rocky feel, and don't forget, say, if you meet buckets empty, now you, you go take longer time to fill the bucket than when you meet the bucket half. Mm. I don't know whether I get the point. Yeah, yeah. So, Sometimes it might be the fault of the person who will leave the bucket. You understand? Yeah. So sometimes one of the reasons why I know they're critical about my criticism about this whole thing now because I'll say sometimes some kind of things they happen for background where people know they know. You get me? So worry don't run your own. Yeah. We see Nyash. I mean, we don't see Nyash. We see. <laughs> <laughs> we don't see him back. Okay. You understand? Yeah. But at the end of the day, Tunubu might just end up and surprise us either for good or for bad. <laughs> okay. Uh, call me China. I'm about to you. Okay, if I ask you relationship for friendship or friendship for relationship. Relationship for friendship. I think relationship direct. Straight away. <laughs> you don't ever want to say you care. Yeah, like, like relationship, relationship different from friend. marriage. They're not talking about marriage. Not marriage. I didn't, I didn't mention marriage. Like normally, you are checking a girl. I believe you meet the girl today. Relationship starts straight up. Sure. Before friendship. Okay. No, 
I like, I like, I like your sincerity. Just go straight. And I threw for him. No, no, in the talking mind. Now, yeah. what did that? Even me, said they talk my mind. Jeff. Okay, so for you now, relationship before friendship or friendship before relationship? For me, I value friendship before relationship. relationship. See, eh? sorry, maybe I need to explain so that you get me. There's, there are certain friendship you cannot find in a relationship. And there are certain relationships you might not find in friendship. So it's it's a it depends on how you they take settings. Mm-hmm. Because it gets some girls where you go meet. If you look at me, you go no say ah, this one will be fuck material or relationship material. It gets some people where you say that friendship, eh, if you keep them, it will give you more than anything we be say relationship mm-hmm. they give you. But it gets some girls where you say, you know, say, okay, this one, see where it end here. Mm-hmm. So you put it on a relationship. So for me, I think I value friendship. I get f- plenty of female friends. We be say don't do certain things. We be say nobody will I don't date for this life. It do for me. I'm not talking about money or say person give you anything. But it gets me girls where if you just enter one room where you know if you enter, they will call your name for that room. So friendship guy is yeah. still not something. It's something. You get okay. Um, call me China. Sex before marriage or marriage. Content to I'm asking you a question. <laughs> sex before marriage or married before sex? I cannot marry someone. Let me see that I don't enjoy sex. You must enjoy. Ah, I cannot. Of course not. Mm-hmm. Okay, so sex before marriage. That's what you're going for. Straight up. I'm not going to give it to you. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, MC, what about you? Sex before marriage? Or marriage? No, I think I'll have to agree with China on this one because my brother. Oh, you know, you know we're, we're in a society whereby they see. The whole thing, um, no sex till after marriage. No, in this, in this no society churchy. now. Anyway, see, even the, in the church, self, you get where you go read your test, you may test with you, they buy. Yeah. You understand? Because the truth is, yeah, seriously, now more talk serious things. If you really look at bro, I don't know about anybody, for, but for me, I'm a very sexually active person when I need to be. You get me? But at the end of the day, if you deal with somebody where you know they, totally intimate with, you understand? There are levels of spirituality where you no go ever forget or level of connection where you no go ever forget with person until you don't reach that sexual intimacy. Are you getting that point? So it's you marrying somebody that you have never had that kind of connection with, it's a big risk because you might finally have that sex and you realize that you never see people will go marry all of a sudden and start to hate themselves. Sometimes sex, they even break relationships. So, yeah, of course, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. definitely sex before marriage. Definitely. Yeah. Okay, so South African girls or Nigerian girls? Call me China. Uh, South African girls. Why? I think Nigerian girls are monetized and stuff. Okay. Yeah. It's now booty. It's now monetization. Uh, the most wow. painful part is that Nigerian girls, I mean, uh, <laughs> it's not like I hate them, but yeah. I don't I dislike how they do. Because. I have traveled to South Africa. I have went to Cape Town. Yeah. I went to Nairobi. Travel. I, I see, see how these guys Nairobi. behave. Yeah. These girls behave in a kind of way you'll be surprised. Like, you just meet a girl and she, like, you check her and she likes you. The only thing she, she will ask she, what she, like, if she's in your house now, you have drink, right? That's the only thing she will ask you. Okay. Coming down to Nigeria. Coming down to Nigeria, I want to meet a girl now, ne- the next day. Okay, imagine I, I, met, I met a girl in this Orchard Road. Yeah. The next day, the girl said, uh, I need to swap my my uh, 11 Pro Max, giving me problem. I need to swap it to 13 Pro Max because she saw my own phone. Mm. Oh, baby, my rent. Oh. I'm running out of my rent. My oh. landlord is on my neck. Mm. The next day, another day, she's hungry. She's hungry. Crazy. She's hungry. Another day, um, ah. um, and then she needs to feed her gas. <laughs> no, 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 no. I, I don't understand what's going on. <laughs> so, like, FC. <laughs> so, no. Wow, that's crazy. No, no, no. South African girls or Nigerian girls? But why South Africa, though? Why no other options? Why not South Africa? We, because we are in Africa. 
Uh, so Kenya and Obi Africa, all those no, other things. No, basically, basically, there is well, a specific Africa? thing about about SA girls. So sh- okay, because, because of the bomb bomb. Like bomb bomb a lot, basically. I'm not a bomb bomb guy. Everybody knows me that me I'm a breast guy. Okay. I love breasts. So so leave bomb bomb out of this. But then on the most serious note, I I want to say uh Nigerian girls used to be something to behold. You understand? But right now the mentality. That they are carrying, you understand? That monetized mentality is fast eating up the good part of our Nigerian the narrative girls. Change. You understand? Yeah. Now, as, as in Nigerian girls, see, maybe it's a Nigerian thing, not just a girl thing. Maybe it's a Nigerian thing. We Nigerians, we are, we be, we did too smart. You understand? We want to smart ourselves and all of that whole thing. You understand? So I'm not going to particularly say, oh, South Africa or. But I think there are still girls in Nigeria that I really so want to like be a bag. You understand? So it's a personality yeah. thing, bro. Because you see, eh, you can go to South Africa and still meet Shege. Yeah. Shege Banza. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You come to Nigeria, you go still meet. So at the end of the day, it depends on who you're meeting. Because you cannot date everybody. You only date one at a time now. Okay, so, so basically the last question now. <clears throat> if you are given the privilege to resurrect one of these famous artists back to life, who would you resurrect? Between... AKA of South Africa, Blessed Memory, Notorious B.I.G. Tupac, Dark Green, and Mobad of Blessed Memory. Yeah, those ones don't die till mm-hmm. we we'll regret the person who just died recently. You understand? No, no, go be like, see, because that one will go, that one will come and be bold, bold. So, at least we will resolve who does the decay, decay new new. <laughs> <laughs> no, we'll go. Get you ready like this before you go. Resurrect and you go. You know, go feel rap again. So, more okay. resurrect who does they close. Okay, cool. You understand? You know I'm not. Maybe you call the question now. Who you call us? Hey, but it's your question now. More bad, definitely. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, call me well, don't say no, they possible. So, <laughs> if you are given the opportunity, it's basically a privilege. Anything can happen. Mm-hmm. Got my surprise. So, if you are given the privilege to resurrect one of these uh, great artists, who would you resurrect back to life? Between AKA of South Africa, Notorious BIG, Tupac, Dan Green, and all that. Tupac, sure. You are a gangster. Tupac, don't bring to the world. Okay, message to your fans across the world. Well, if you're watching this, if you're seeing me, be you. Explore. Life is sweet, it's sour, it's bitter, it's crazy. But be you, live, fight, drink, smoke, whatever thing that makes you happy, you understand? Just find your peace, find your happiness. That's the best you can give to yourself, and that's the best you can ever have. So, yeah. Okay, come to China. Do you have any message to your fans across the world? Uh, the message to my friends, don't allow money to finish your hand. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, gee. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy, don't never get broke, right? Uh, uh, okay. Uh, mm. uh, oh, boy, I love that sincerity, okay? And um, from us in TMI News, we sign out.